Is this you, struggling to make ends meet? And you want to be this person with more money than you know what to do with? Well, I can point you to a guy who can help. And his name is Svi... Uh, Svi... Sviatopolk? Sviatopolk, that's right. And he's got the most powerful weapon in the game. The Toz. However, there's one thing more important on our scab today, and that's his backpack. Filling that up is our scav's number one objective. So let's make some money. So it turns out we've actually spawned in with about 50k in our backpack, assorted goods that would be useful for our PMC, as well as the backpack itself and a security rig. I considered going into the raid, but what we're going to do, we're actually just going to dip and re-roll our scav, because he's already pretty much loaded up, and we're close to the extract. After seeing that there was a cache already open in the area, meaning someone had just been here, I thought we made the right decision. So in four minutes, we managed to get a decent backpack, a rig that can be used or even better sold on the fleet, and 50k in cash, as well as a rat cola, which is part of the collection task for fence. Let's go for round two. Our next scout's looking pretty serious with the M700, TAC 30 scope, which we know is worth quite a bit, WT rig, packer, and a day pack. Not a bad scav at all. This time we're going to try and fill our backpack with a number of food items, which are doing very, very well on the fleet at the moment. So back to interchange we go. It was at this point that we bumped into another player, and of course I wasn't sure whether he was friendly or not. Turns out he was. Yep, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not bad for a, a, a quick scaving. I'm just wandering about trying to find anything. I'll, I'll tag along. I'll tag along. Wow, so we got. Is there anything you need? Nah, just food. Just food, honestly. Like I say, I'm doing a little video on. Uh on how to make money as a scav and food right now is insane like you're looking like 15k for a can of tuna <laughs> that much. yeah it's ridiculous i don't know why we had the um the no trader event and then all of a sudden food just went crazy but all the shelves on the i think it's the northwest side of goshan are just absolutely rammed who's this identify yourself sir mr flashlight Get the scab in it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Alright, here we go. I'll try and load up on everything. Anything that um isn't gonna be, you know, worth me taking or whatever, I'll I'll drop for you it's just so we both got full backpacks. But there's literally like if you just look at the shelves, they're just absolutely stacked. Like nobody comes here to take food, I don't know why. It's it's easy money. More room for food. Things like tarcolas trade for, I think, the fridge. So people buy them off the flea market to trade for the for the holodilnik fridge. Yeah, I'm just a scav. I'd pick up anything, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, now more than ever, like everything's worth something in Tarkov. You know, like you can sell pretty much anything. Yeah. It's easy. Not easy, but, you know, everything's worth picking up. Yeah, well, there's a trade for it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, the food usually goes pretty well. The single slot food. Yeah, there's a couple of scabs around here. Good sign. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> I think he was checking us out. Shotgun, shotgun! 
There's a couple of caches around here as well, but I don't like going over there because people do like to watch them. <laughs> this guy's brave. He loves it. Headsets and a vase if you want a vase. Ooh. Um. Yeah, I might take a vase if that's alright. Help. Do you know what you with the headset you've taken, so. Thank you very much. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Nice. Alright. Yeah, thanks very much. It's been a pleasure. You're welcome. Yeah, take care of yourself and catch you soon. <laughs> he was a nice guy. There we go. Yeah, that was a nice surprise, actually. I was not expecting that. So after a successful scav run, it's now time to sort all the loot and sell things for as much as we can. However, time is of the essence because we want to make sure that we've cleared our stash before our next scav is available. Don't forget guys that your scav timer is dependent on your fence rep, so it does pay to be friendly to other scavs wherever possible. My fence rep was around 3 last time I checked, which gives me a scav cooldown time of around 7-8 minutes or so, which is plenty of time. As you can see on the screen, these food items that are usually ignored go for a fair amount on the flea market. And you will find that there are items which are not being listed at all, which means you have the power to sell for as much as you want. However, bear in mind, flea tax, as well as people undercutting you. As our friend quite rightly pointed out during the raid, some food and drink items barter for some great equipment and storage containers. To find out if a particular item is useful for anything like this, right click it and select required search. Here's the M1 rig from Ragman, which provides class 4 armor and 20 storage space, including two 2x2 two two slots. It also provides stomach protection, which is great for anyone who doesn't want their stomach absolutely destroyed. Remembering that a blacked out stomach does 1.5 times damage to the rest of the body. It's also worth mentioning that Ragman and any of the traders really will accept items of any durability unless otherwise stated. This is why you can usually catch me with a number of 1 out of 50 Aquamarie sitting around. The hideout. Keeping that money rolling in is made much simpler when fully utilizing the crafting stations. Fabrics tend to do quite well on the flea at the moment, as well as certain medical items like the SJ6 and Propitol crafts. And it's not just useful for selling stuff. I usually end up with a massive stock of 7.62 BP because I simply can't go through it fast enough. That, and I usually find it off other players as well. Going back to our scav, let's not forget the weapons and equipment that we actually managed to load in with at the time. Okay, he had an M700 with a TAC-30 scope, which does sell for quite a bit on the flea. Or you might even choose to use it. Generally speaking, the traders will ask you to go and find them weapons as well. Just last week, I was asked to find an M700 and it would have been great to have this in my stash. Sometimes you'll even find players selling items for less than trader value. This usually happens when other players are trying to undercut people and get a little bit overzealous. Or they're really just trying to level up their flea rep. Remember, it is now 30 flea rep to unlock that third slot. So how much did we actually make on those two quick scavrons? Before I started recording, I was on about 17 and a half million. And by the end, we were on just over 18.2. This is of course after selling everything that we uh, grabbed on the scavrons and of course what we had crafting in the background. So that's just about it from me. Thank you very much indeed for watching the video. If you've got any questions whatsoever, please feel free to ask in the comments below. We're live Monday to Friday on Twitch starting from 10.30 a.m. UK time. Follow us over there and you'll get a notification when we go live. See you soon. Have an awesome rest of your day and good luck in Tarkov.